Let us do what? Cease and hold tightly the what? Of our hope without wavering for he who promised. For he who promised is what? Is what? And what? And what? To what? You see, you are living with villagers and neighbors who have no value with your words. You are living with the politicians who have no value for your words. But I'm with a good message for you. We have a God who is reliable, who is trustworthy, and what? Faithful to his word. What God has said over you, it is reliable. It is reliable. What God has said over your children is reliable, my friend. Somebody say hallelujah. Ah, my friend, when we were in the wilderness, let me tell you, the wilderness is a good place when God takes you. Don't write an application to go to the wilderness. Because <laughs> you'll be on your own. So, when we were in the wilderness, there is something Reverend Tracia told us. He told me in 20, 2009, he told me, whatever will be left, build it. He told me, if you are left with the 10 members, build them. And I'm telling you, whatever was left, I, I had, I built. God is so reliable because what was left is what has now made group impact is what has brought a testimony. God's word is what? Reliable. Let's say one. God's word is what? God's word is what? God's word is what? It is trustworthy and is faithful. Number six, so that we say one more thing, is this. The word of God cannot fail. The word of God cannot fail. My friend, if God have said it, you know, when I was a little bit younger, I used to pray some prayers. In Kikuyu. And I would tell God, more than you, nigga, that is to say in English, I was praying emergency prayers, asking God to respond so that his name cannot get shame. Let me tell you, my friend, God is not suffering from identity crisis. <laughs> you see, God, 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 is, God is not suffering at the. At the God, God does not depend. On opinion pulls at how the people pull him here. He is no, 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 my friend. His word cannot fail. Whether people believe it, whether people sarcast it, whether people insult it, his word cannot fail. So if God has said it, believe it. Because that word, my friend, look, the Bible tells you, sorrow may endure for. A night. But joy. But what? But joy comes where? Meaning, if you see me crying, leave me alone. Because tomorrow of God. Ah. Didn't you read? I you read. That is to mean, even if a stamp is cut at the spring of waters, it shall sprout again. You see, the problem with many of us, we look at the stamp when it is cut. We judge the stamp when it is cut. We criticize the stamp when it is cut. But we don't know at the ascent of water and the water is the word of God that that thing will sprout again. Ooh. 
can you imagine? The people who wrote our obituaries. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody who, who was foolish went to where you are falling. He went to Facebook. That time people were not even using Facebook, so that was not even worried. He <laughs> people are not even people did not even know what is on Facebook. But he went on Facebook and he said Muchukachi Karanja is Ikabod. The glory of God has departed. You see, now internet is at use. And I know the Ikabod writer is watching. <laughs> I know the Ikabod war is what? My friend, you see, the, the word of God can not fail. The Bible says, the word of God cannot what? This a vision is for an appointed time. It may die, but it cannot lie. It cannot lie. At the appointed time, it shall speak. Your vision will speak. Your dream will speak. Somebody say hallelujah. My friend, don't take anti depression pills. And because what God told you is taking time. My friend, wait. I say, wait. Are you older than Abraham? <laughs> Excuse me? See, Prophet Cindy said she is turning 73. Am I right? Servant of God. So right now, according to God's timetable, this servant has not received a prophecy yet. Because Abraham got a word at 75. <laughs> that, yes, yes, yes. He got a word at the word. At, he will be the what? The father at what? And at 99, at what? Over 24 years later, God appears to Abraham and says to him, Tell Sarah, at this time, next year, uh, she needs to prepare some maternity dress. You know, Sarah had to laugh because see, Sarah had, and I, and I can't blame Sarah because at night, if your husband come and tell, I tell the Lord God. <laughs> you see, <laughs> at, at, you say, at night, another man who is telling him of the prophetic word is also like alive. And, <laughs> And you see, Sarah was very innocent. He said, will my Lord have pressure? <laughs> Meaning, that's why the Bible says in the book of, uh, of Hebrews 11, 11, at a, by faith, Sarah herself received the strength to conceive even when she was past the age of childbearing because she judged him faithful. He judged him faithful. The one who had promised. Are you gonna judge God faithful? I say, will you gonna judge God what? Faithful. What did we say? The word cannot do what? Faithful. Let's read that one. We talk about one thing, then we tell ourselves Astra Vista. La Vista in Spanish is see you later. So, let's read Joshua 21, 45. Joshua 21, 45. Not a what? Uh, read with me. Not a what? Not a what? Of any 
good thing which the what? Not a word of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house. Not a word filled of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. What happened? What happened? What happened? I want you to remove the house of Israel because they are not here today. And I want you to put your house there. And I want you to read it with me. Not a word. Let's go. Not a word of any, any good thing which the Lord has spoken to the house of Karanja. All will come to pass. I say all will come to pass. All will come to pass. If God has said it, my friend, wait on God. I say, if God has said it, don't look at the stock market. Look to God. If God has said it, don't look at your uncle. Don't look at your bank account. Look at God. So, let me say one more thing. Because of the interest of time. And this is what I want to ask. This question. Crucial truths about trusting God. And I want to talk about just one. Crucial truths about trusting who? God. The knowledge of God, that's the statement we're making. The knowledge of God is a what? Let's say it together. The knowledge of God is the foundation of what? Of trust. And we are making a very unique statement there. We are asking this other question. Why do you need to know God and his word? And number one is this. You cannot trust a God who you do not know. Let me say one more time. You do not, you cannot trust a who? Who, who you do, you do not know? Tell your neighbor for me. You can't trust a God you do not know. Tell them. Hiya. You see, let, let me ask this question. A quick question. How many people know the prophet of this house? All right. Put your hands up. After the service, when the altar call is called, please be the one to come out and, and be prayed for. Because what you have just said is not true. You do not know Reverend Tresia. There are a few people who know her. You, you, you can hear, you can be seeing Reverend Tresia in the church, but you do not know. You see, the word knowledge comes from the Hebrew word yanda, and the, the Greek have used two words. The, the one word that I like from the Greek is, is what? Is ginoxko, which, which comes from, from the, the word ginoxko means you knowing somebody intimately. And if you look at where the Bible talks about knowing, Genesis 4, verse 1, what does it say? And Adam, what did he do? I know all of us, the Sunday school were here in, in yesterday. They, we don't have Sunday school, they, they left. Genesis 4, verse 1 says what? What does it say? I mean, that means they can put it. Genesis 4, verse 1. And who? And Adam knew. You want to tell me that uh, Adam knew that uh, Sarah, uh, no, uh, Eve is wearing a, a kitenka dress? No. When it talks about that knowledge, it talks about an intimate knowledge of somebody. 
If you go to Luke 1, verse 34, when Mary is told by the angel, you shall have a child, he says, how shall this be? And I do not know. Ginosko. I do not know a man. So, the Bible is telling you, you cannot trust a God who you have no ginosko. Tell your neighbor you cannot trust a God you do not have a what? You don't have an experiential knowledge of that God. Have you ever read Job 42, verse 5? What did Job say? I used to hear. Anybody have read that? I used to hear about you. But now, my eyes have seen the Lord. There are people who hear about God on view Sasa. There are people who hear about God in church. There are people who hear about God on YouTube. But they do not have a gnosko, a, a personal knowledge of who God is. For you to trust God, you must have a personal knowledge of him. Psalms 9 verse 10. So that we see something real quick here. Psalms 9 verse 10 says this. And those, read with me, and those, higher, and those will put their trust in who? Meaning, for you to trust God, what must happen before? You must do what? You must know his name. This man called Moses, he was given a divine assignment. And we shall close with him. When he was given a divine assignment, in, Gen in Exodus 3, Moses insisted in knowing God. And if, if media, you can get it from your Bible so that it can be bigger, that's fine. Moses insisted on knowing God before stepping in the divine assignment. So, let's read. Genesis, no, Exodus 3, verse 15, 13 to 15. What does it say? Then Moses said, indeed, read with me, when I come to the children of Israel, I say to them, the God of your father has sent me to you. And they say to me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? 14. And God said to Moses, I am who I am. Thus you shall say to them, the God of Israel, I am, have sent you. Moreover, the God said, moreover God said to Moses, that says the Lord The Lord God of your father, the Lord God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, have sent me to you. This is my name forever. What is God's name forever? I am who? I am. Meaning, for you to know his name, you must know that the Lord will always become what you want him to become every time you need him to become. Someone say hallelujah. And let me, let me get a few ten volunteers. This is, this is the last thing we are doing then we are released. Let me get ten, like ten volunteers. Nine will be, ten will be good. Then I want to show you something here. Start from, from here to take uh, alphabetically. Uh, the, the way it is, the way, the way it is. Then give, give the next person. Then give us the first slide that says Elohim. Elohim. Go to the, the, screen, the screen that says Elohim. So God is telling Moses, 
Go tell them, I am, has done what? Has sent you. So, I want, to, I want us to go through this. Flip it on the, on the white side. So, let's, let's move to the center. Let's move to the center. There, there, there will be 12, but I've only used 10. So, here we have a drawing was not what I was doing. So, he, he, <laughs> so raise it a little bit higher. So, he, if you see like there's not drawn anywhere, don't let the devil come between you and getting the message. <laughs> so, God is telling Moses, go tell them, I am, have sent you. So, he's telling him, I am, El, him, the who, the, the who, meaning, even if you are stuck, and you need anything created, God can still create it. Let, 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 me, let me help you. You see, many of us work with what is already there. But if you know his name is Elohim, even what does not exist, he can create. Somebody say hallelujah. If God tells you he will give you a property or something, even if you don't have what it takes. I am as his name. He is a creator. Somebody say hallelujah. The Bible says those who know your name shall put their trust. If you know God as Elohim, you will never allow your pancreas to release any juice. And because things are stuck. You, you know, if God is with me, if there need to be a creative miracle, God is El Him. He will create it. God tell them, not only am I Elohim, I'm El Shaddai. I am what? El Shaddai. Oh, sufficient. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Let me hear you. Oh, what? We are talking of a God who is what? Oh, what? My friend, my phone may have a Furisa, but my heart has L. That's why you don't see me not depressed. Because what is in my phone cannot define my spiritual reality. Because my God is the all sufficient one. Look at the next one. Go tell them, I am El Yon. God most high. You know what? When you know God as most high, people will start making very little fear on you. Because God is the most high. And if it is God who has said it, somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> Me, I, I don't, know, I don't want, want you to go do this. But I was reading the biography of Bishop, the Red Bishop, Idahosa. And uh, they wanted a property next door. And the neighbor said, it can only happen at my dead body. That's what my, the neighbor said. So Bishop Edahosa said to the neighbor, because I believe in Elion, go prepare your funeral. Because in seven days, you'll be dead. True to the word, the neighbor died seven days. And the sons came and said, Hey, Bishop, <laughs> how much did you say you're going to pay for the what? For the land. Because you're going to have to know this God as the most high. When you know him, you refuse people to intimidate you. Because God is Arion, the most high. 
Jehovah Adonai, the master, the owner. You see, if God is the owner of everything, what is it that God would want? Can, can you imagine? Don't go try this at home. Jesus wanted to, to write on a coat that had never been written by anybody. He sent the disciples to the village and tell them, in the village, you will see a coat tied. Tell, go and tie it with the mother. So the, the donkey was tied together with the mother, telling you there are people who are, who are always tied with the same thing that tied their mother. Today, Jesus is here to tie you. <laughs> so the, the Karitro donkey was tied together with the mother. And I was asking, why, why would you tie the Karitro donkey and you tie the mother? The mother is just enough, but yeah, that's a summary for the next day. So you see, he said to her, to them, when anybody asks you why you are untying it, tell them the master is in need of the donkey. And true to the word, they were untying. Hey, excuse me. Hey, 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 folks, what, what did you say you were doing? Uh, the master is in need of it. The owner, because Jesus is the owner. When you know him as the owner of everything, my friend, you will trust him. Because he is what? Adonai. Let, let's go fast. Jehovah Jireh, God the provider. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals you. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, my banner. This is when Moses defeated the Amalekites. He called God Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, my banner. Jehovah Shama. It doesn't say God give peace. It says the Lord is what? The Lord is peace. And today, if there is anybody who needs peace, I am here to submit to you Jehovah Shalom is here. The, the Lord is what? Is peace. Let's continue. Jehovah Shama. You know what that means? Tell me what it says. The Lord is where? Where is the Lord? I want you to. Where is the Lord? Where is the Lord? Where is He? No. I want you to. Please be a good student. Read what it has said. Where is the Lord? Yeah. Meaning, he's not here. He is there. Wherever you shall be, there he shall be. When you find yourself mourning, the Lord shall be there. When you shall find yourself weeping, the Lord shall be where? Yeah. When you shall find yourself broke, the Lord will be there. When you shall find yourself running, Look at the, the last one. Come here, my sister. I loved this. Raise it up. Go tell them. Eloloi have sent you. You are the God who sees. This is Hagar when she is running away from her mistress. In Genesis 16, and she's running away, and the angel asked her, what are you doing here? She said, I am here because of my mistress. She stood, get some manners, go home, and obey your mistress. And she stood, the boy, the pregnancy you carry, that boy will become. So, her guy, Never told the angels she is pregnant. There was no pregnant test done. There was nothing. We are not even told that Haggai was wearing a what? A maternity. But she said, You are, she said, Have I seen the God who sees me? You know what that tells you? God sees you where you heart. God sees you where you are. You see, the pastor may not see you because the pastor is not omniscient. But you are the Lord who sees. Let me summarize by saying this. Go back, my sister. When God becomes 
Elohim. He doesn't forfeit becoming El Shaddai. He doesn't forfeit becoming Elohim. He doesn't become. He doesn't forfeit becoming Adonai, Jaire, Lafa, Nisi, Shama, Sharon, Shama, or whatever. And Elo, meaning God can be all this. There's a song we sing. I call you faithful. Uh, you are all that. There's a song. Uh, it's only that I don't. You are all that. Meaning he is. Huh? Huh? You are so faithful. I call you faithful. You. Let's all stand. Let's all stand. And faith. I call you Elohim. You. Lord. Hey, I call you El Shaddai. I call you El Elioni. I call you Adonai. I call you Jaire. I call you Ni Rafa. I call you Nisi. I call you Sham Sarom. I call you. I call you Eloi. God, you are. You are all this to me. I say you are all. You are all. He is all this to you. We have said those who know your name shall put their trust in you. You're going to have to know his name. My friend, he is the God, come my sister, who sees you. Even where you hurt, he is the God who sees you. That pain in your heart, that midnight cry, he is the God who sees you. My friend, you know, we can be seeing each other at church. And the good thing about makeup, is that they, they can't tell you I was crying. Because if I make up, I'm, I have already eliminated all those suspicions. But uh, even what you cannot see, I have a God who can see. Every tear. Let me say this. I know here, man, there are parents who are concerned about their children. I know school have crossed. Some of you are concerned where school fees will come from. He's God. Hello, Lord. He is a God who sees. And the thing about him is not only that he sees, he is also. Come, come, my sister. Come, come, come. It's only that he, he doesn't see. You know, many of us can see and say, you know what, brother? We know what you are going through. God sees and he provides. He sees and he provides. Hallelujah. I know in this sanctuary there is somebody who is troubled. But uh, Jehovah Shalom. He is a the Lord is peace. And I believe in this conference, somebody will receive shalom. The word shalom here means completeness, wholeness. God will complete and establish everything that concerns your life. Somebody say hallelujah. You see, the reason why I'm not afraid is because if I, if, I, if I find myself anywhere, I may not know the way. I may not know where I am going, man. But if I go with God, he is the Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is there. He, and you see, God does not cease to be 
El Shaddai when he becomes Shama. He can still be Shama for me and become El Shaddai. Those who know your name shall put their trust in you. My assignment for you during this conference, please get to know him. This is what Paul said, that I may know him and the power that raised him from the dead, that I may know him. Look, I was asking myself, If you look at the book of Ephesians, Ephesians 1, Paul is praying for this church and he is saying to them, from verse 15 of Ephesians 15, 1, he says, from the day I heard about you, I have never ceased to pray for you. That the God and the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ may give you the spirit of what? of revelation in the knowledge of him that you may know you may what? that you may know what is the hope of your calling that you may know what is the inheritance he has for the saint that you may know what is the power that works within you. Because the same power that raised Christ from the dead work in the life of every believer. My submission to you is this. is a prayer of Paul that you may know his name. This is our cry. That we may know you. That what we pray this morning. That Lord you may reveal to us. What is your name? Zakarabasita Rabakanto. Makarabaseka. Talk to God in two minutes. Talk to God in two minutes. Ramaseka Rabasia. Lord we give you praise. Lord we give you praise. To those who need peace, Lord, become their peace. To those who need deliverance, become their deliverer. To those who need, for those eternal Father who need creative miracle, become their creator. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Let me challenge you. The reason why the, our mother, the prophet, has made this is to facilitate revelation so that you can get to a place where not only do you hear about God, you know God. You know and you know. Jesus said in John 10, verse 14, that my sheep knows my voice. You get to a place where you cannot confuse the voice of the shepherd with the voice of a stranger. May the God of all graces enable you to know him in all this dimension. In Jesus' name.